What's up explorers? If you're new here, my name is James and my channel is a culmination of all things outdoors that I love, including van life. So you'll get to learn a bit of bush crafting, you'll get to travel along on the adventures, see new places, fresh new faces, and some beautiful scenery along the way. In this episode, I was sent a water tester to review for free. So in this episode, we're going to test these wild streams and see what the water quality is like in rural Virginia. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. I just got this water tester in today and I really find this sort of thing interesting. So I'm going to be going around testing a whole bunch of water. So I hope y'all will enjoy that because I nerd out and geek out on things like that. I find it very interesting to know the environment around you. And I've always wanted to know these things. I'm happy that Cactole or Tule, however you say it sent me this water tester for free to use and test out on the channel and get my review on it. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using this thing a whole bunch. All right, y'all, I'm out here at a wild creek in the middle of nowhere, Virginia. And uh, we're gonna test this water. I'm using the Cactole, I, I believe it is, six in one water tester. This is a digital tester and you just stick it in and it's going to tell you a bunch of information about the water. Let's uh, let's go ahead and test it. Now there are farms around so pretty sure that's going to affect the water quality on this. We got a 34, that's poor, that's very poor. It has COD 8.5. The COD means chemical oxygen demand. And uh, that's that's uh, very poor. <laughs> the next was TOC, total organic carbon. That should be 12.2. That is also very poor <laughs> TDS total dissolved solids is a 26 and that is actually good that's excellent ah okay okay let's see what else we got in here UV 275 that's ultraviolet absorption value that is 0 0.122 and it doesn't say, but yeah, I don't know about that one. It doesn't say if it's poor or, or what. EC, that stands for electrical conductivity. That is a 51. <laughs> and then T, that's the temperature. The water is 20.4 Celsius. This water is poor, but it looks fairly clean and it's running through the middle of nowhere. That just goes to show you that the stream may look clean, but it's actually really poor water quality. And to be in a rural area, you would expect it to be, you know, really good because in this area, it's less than 500 people population, but the water's not so good these days. So let's go on to the next creek. We have made it to the second stream. We get down here. We're gonna we're gonna test it right here. Out here, this water is running. There's a big pool right here. Makes me wanna take a dip. <laughs> Let's see how uh, clean this water is, though. Alright, let's go. 
38. Pour. The screen lights up red, yellow, or green. Green is excellent. Yellow is average and rated as poor. So that's rated poor. So no good. No bueno. It's rated really poor. 38. That's, that's poor. <laughs> you can see it. This is really clear and it's running. I don't know exactly where it comes from, but I do know that there's farmland, so that could affect it. You know, it makes me want to try over this side to see if it's any difference. Let's do it over this side. It's past the minimum, so that should be good. 43. So that's a little better over this side, still poor. Just so you can see what it looks like, the screen is red. The camera's not picking it up, but it's red and it says 42 poor. And then if you hit that button, it shows you like a whole bunch of other things that's in this water, like 15.3 Celsius. This is really fun actually. This may be a new thing on the channel, just going around and testing water. <laughs> This is actually really fun. It's a beautiful creek, nonetheless. Walking this road, I found all of these rubber bands just like lying on the ground. Maybe that's why the water quality is not that great. People don't know how to leave no trace. All right, the last little bit of aqua whoa frogs are hopping in that joint a lot of bugs last little bit to test right here this water's dark too uh, let's see i'm squatting on briars here let's hurry up and get out of here 33 poor Okay, wow. Yeah, them, them frogs then pooped all up in that water. <laughs> That's why it's so dirty. That's my theory. <laughs> As a recap, we tested three water sources today. All of them scored under 50, which is poor. So the drinking water quality in this Virginia State Forest, Charlotte State Forest, rates poor. Now that's not all of the water sources in this forest. That's just the ones that I was willing to walk to. Next time we'll walk to the big section with uh, all the impoundment of water and we'll test that. But today, all of it was poor. So you can see that I'm in my van and I did get water from the state park out of a spigot like on a week, two weeks ago maybe. And I want to test that. I'm kind of nervous because I've been gulping that water down. And uh, I don't know what the quality is like, but we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm going to use my cup. I am at my uh, parents' house. My van's broke down there. So I'll wash it. I got like stuff to wash it. So it doesn't matter if I stick that dirty tester in it. Oh, gosh. Let's get it out. Let's uh let's clean this the best that we can. Make sure the probes and stuff are are clean. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but um, here we go. It says 88 oh my gosh <laughs> the water that I've been drinking is good quality it's it's 88 rating and I guess that's better than drinking like pond water stream water <laughs> I was nervous for a second because I didn't know what to expect and I was like scared I was drinking some like dirty tap water I don't know because it was fizzed up uh, the first time I got water in the container, and then it cleared up, 
at another spigot, so I was kind of worried. 88, I'll take it. <laughs> Not the best, but I'll take it. But yeah, y'all, today has been fun testing out all this water that's going to be like a thing that I'm going to keep doing now because I've always wanted to test water. I'm going to go to springs and stuff. Buffalo Lithia Springs, I'm going to go there and test it. That's when I wanted to test. But y'all, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you all have enjoyed this type of video, this type of content. This is like a new thing around the channel. I haven't done this before. So I hope y'all enjoy this and like it because we're going to be testing the waters around America now when I travel. Very excited. I've definitely enjoyed this myself, but I hope you all have had an amazing day. And as always, explorers, peace, love, and have a great day wherever you are.